There are two types of competitive advantage. Either a company competes at a lower cost, or they differentiate their product or service in the market. So when Tesla initially entered the auto industry, their initial competitive advantage was differentiation. They were different from all the other cars, because they were electric with a practical amount of range. But nearly two decades further, they have now also achieved the cost advantage too. So let's explore all the ways that Tesla currently have cost and differentiation as their competitive advantages. Michael Porter's competitive advantage broke this down further into a broad market and a narrow market. As Tesla is planning on becoming the company to sell the most amount of cars, let's focus on the broad market. So obviously Tesla's low prices are a major advantage, and before anyone starts commenting on how expensive Teslas are, let's just keep within the EV market. Tesla pretty much have the lowest prices compared to any other EV, especially when you factor in range and features. The reason Tesla is able to offer such low prices, still with such high margins, is simply due to their very low cost of manufacturing. So let's explore the reasons Tesla can produce cars at such low costs. Vertical integration. This simply means Tesla tries to control as much of the supply chain as possible. From extracting the metals from the earth to selling directly to the consumer, Tesla tries to keep as much of it in-house as possible. This way, Tesla shares as little profit with other companies as they can, meaning they can pass the savings on to consumers. Tesla have been talking about getting into mining. From battery day, it was pretty much inferred that they will be mining lithium in Nevada and have even come up with a more efficient and environmental process of doing this too. Graphite and nickel are the two other biggest ingredients in lithium ion batteries. Graphite is abundant, but nickel not so much. But recently, we've heard they are trying to secure nickel from Indonesia. So if you break it down, battery constraint is the biggest hurdle for mass producing electric vehicles. And the metal holding back batteries the most is nickel. So if Tesla secure the nickel, then they secure the batteries, which is a pretty big advantage to have. The efficiencies in software, drivetrain, and their motors all help getting the most range and performance from every kilowatt. Batteries are more valuable to Tesla than any other competitors, as Tesla are able to get the most range from their batteries compared to the competitors. The efficiencies in software, drivetrain, and their motors all help getting the most range and performance from every kilowatt. And then these efficiencies end up giving Tesla the best range from any other EV on the market, and the best acceleration, not from just any EV, but actually any other production car on the planet. And that's from their large luxury family sedan. We can only begin to imagine the performance from their Roadster when they stick some rockets on the back of it. And according to Elon on the Joe Rogan show, it might even hover. Tesla are continually refining their manufacturing process and no cost is being spared in the process. This is evident with the likes of their Gigapress. The amount of money these save in production, along with the improved speed on the production line, not to mention how it makes the car stronger and safer. And we always hear Elon talk about how important the machine that makes the machine is. So yes, Teslas are also the safest cars in the world, another competitive advantage, as if they didn't have enough already. But some of the concepts Tesla come up with on how to manufacture are so clever and make perfect sense, yet no other competitors seem to care, or perhaps the competition is so far behind already at this stage, they probably think it makes such a little difference now and are hoping for some sort of miracle. Like Tesla's cell to vehicle technology, using tabless batteries and making the pack from the structure of the car, again, a huge competitive advantage that doesn't get anywhere near enough credit. And it doesn't stop there either. There are all sorts of incredible efficiencies in the manufacturing of Teslas. Like the Octavalve and Tesla's heat pump, the company is going above and beyond to make these cars more efficient, and the results are prevalent. Tesla designed their own custom chips that are specifically designed for Tesla's own FSD for their cars. This is actually an essential part for FSD, as it would appear the global demand for chips is about to dramatically increase a lot more than supply. In other words, the world can't make enough chips fast enough. This is due to the advances in AI happening a lot faster than the advances in processing power. Even Microsoft's Xbox and Sony's PlayStation are struggling for chips right now, hence how hard it is to get new versions of these consoles. When the chip manufacturers have to choose between selling to the server industry or auto industry, it's an easy choice as the server industry has much better gross margins, meaning they can afford to pay more, making it harder for auto manufacturers to secure chips for their FSD. However, unlike any other EV manufacturers, Tesla have secured their own supply of chips. Samsung will likely manufacture them in Texas, whereas most other chips are supplied by TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Co, like Apple and Nvidia and Intel. So if the competition wasn't struggling enough already with their FSD, it's only going to get harder when they can't get their own chips or have to pay that much more. And yes, 
Obviously, Tesla are by far the leaders in self-driving too. The incumbent automakers are trying to compete with Tesla because they seem to think that Tesla is the same as what they do. They think that because it has wheels, a steering wheel, and drives from A to B, that therefore they are a competitor. But they might have gotten confused. This would be like me thinking I can compete with Google because I can make a website. And therefore, if I can make a website, then I could also make a search engine as good as Google. But I can't. Tesla is a technology company, and they've been working on their technology for 18 years. In technology terms, that's a very long time. And for some new companies to try and come into the market now and compete with an 18-year-old technology company, it doesn't stand a chance. The sheer amount of data that Tesla has accumulated with their FSD now is astronomical, which is a massive competitive advantage and a huge barrier to entry. Tesla's Neuronet is the most powerful AI computer in the world, used to process all their data, and it's not even close, Elon says, with one of his favorite phrases, by an order of magnitude. He says this phrase a lot, because it's often an apt way to describe how far ahead Tesla is with anything. And unlike the incumbent automakers, Tesla can just focus on one technology, electric cars, rather than having to still evolve internal combustion, turbos, superchargers, hybrids, even hydrogen, Tesla can just concentrate on one. And let's not forget the Tesla supercharger network. Such a competitive advantage, it would be like Ford owning all the gas stations too. And Tesla have just launched their new supercharger factory to produce them at an even faster rate. Elon Musk also owns the Boring Company too, which makes tunnels at 1 20th the price it costs to lay down road. However, the Boring Tunnel is only for EVs, which luckily Tesla is. So unlike any of the internal combustion cars, Tesla can use the tunnels for the fastest, easiest transport. Actually, that's not quite true. The cars also need to have FSD as well as an EV, and probably has to be Tesla's FSD too. So it might just be for Tesla's for the time being. And then there's the Tesla brand, synonymous with its beloved CEO, Elon Musk, on his mission to save the world, working harder than any other CEO on the planet and totally dedicated to his cause compared to the other car companies on their missions to make as much profit as possible, with CEOs that just need to keep the stock price up for a few more years until they leave. Elon said he's going to stay with Tesla for quite a bit longer until he goes back home to Mars. As a result, he attracts all the best talent the engineering world has to offer. This is where people want to work, where they can make a difference and feel they're contributing to the world, and then the competitors are left with the rejects. Okay, I may have missed a few other competitive advantages, but I'm sure my esteemed viewers will think to cover the rest. But now we're starting to realize why not even Apple, the largest company in the world with all their money, don't even seem to be able to get a piece of this market. So what chance does anyone else have? Thanks for listening. Please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.